just up and now you put your team in the back. And now Brogdon in the corner for three, hits another three. They, they've got him as one of the players in the corner. If you, you played it about as good as you can play it. You just have an outstanding three-point shooter with Malcolm Brogdon. Not is, a good one. Outstanding. He is five of six from three-point range. He leads the NBA at 46%. He's climbing near 50. Smith has it knocked out. With they Celtics history right now at 46 percent, and it is climbing. <laughs> Miles Turner, I'm telling you, I didn't. I don't know if they hit him that hard, but Jalen Brown went down off a screen. Inside three to play. Boston's lead is four at 124-120. Missed it. Turner the rebound. Tatum was a little bit off balance. Pacers really weren't sure what they wanted to do there. Tatum really had a wide open drive to the basket. You got it. Halliburton for a long three. Perfect. It's a one point game. You got it. You got, if he's able to slide right before shooting, he's really comfortable with that. They were trying to keep him from getting there. 16,125. What a treat tonight, and you watching here on Valley Sports. You gotta enjoy it. You gotta be enjoying great basketball. This is NBA basketball at its highest level. Brown, catch, shoot, three. And Buddy Faldi. Did he grab it? Look, the Pacers bench and coaching right here. Now, the ball off it. Watch it come down. See it come down. The left arm came and it wiped the play. The call on the floor stands. The defender does not allow the offensive yeah. player to naturally land. But he didn't allow him to come down playing the whistle for 36 and a half. And he missed two of them. So the lead is just two, 125, 123. Smart guarding Halliburton. And now he's got the matchup against Brogdon. If you get it, if he slides to the middle on the shot, he'll get it. Ooh. Well, that would have counted. You gotta concentrate. You gotta you gotta get that bucket. You gotta concentrate and get that bucket. But with Halliburton. Yeah. His 15th 20-point 10 assist game of the year. Pacers assistant coaches up as well alongside Rick Carlisle, Lloyd Pierce, Ronald Norris. Yeah, he's got him off here. Tatum inside, missed it. Rebound by Heald. I, I, I know he liked what he wanted there. <laughs> Burton directing traffic, gets it to Buddy. Heald's gonna drive on Horford. Ooh. Tipped up, no good by Matherin. Yeah, Brockton was able to tip that ball over to uh, Al Horford. Yeah, Buddy liked the matchup against Horford. Now it's Tatum. He's gonna drive the lane again, and he throws it away. Good anticipation, good defense by the Pacers. And, and Rich gonna let him play. Halliburton third in the league in steals, nearly two per game, 16,000 on their feet. Halliburton now has the matchup he wants against Horford. Seven to shoot. Halliburton no. fires it up. No, he's up. He never got the rhythm. Well, he's just short. Now Brown into the front court. Lobs it up, throws it out of bounds. He, he threw it right out of bounds. He was right out of bounds. The Pacers are going to play. They're not. They got their best offensive players on the floor. He just threw it out of bounds. I mean, there was no way for Al to get that. That came right into the camera. Shot clock is off. 14 <laughs> seconds. And, hey, how about the matchup here? Smart. Oh, they get smart in Halliburton. Six seconds. Five seconds. Halliburton. He stayed on it. He's going to shoot it. Yeah. And it hit the top of the backboard, and we go overtime. Tyrese Halliburton had a couple of chances to win, but the Pacers and the Celtics will play an extra. 
They've scored six straight. Here's Turner for an 8-3, <laughs> a career high. <laughs> you got to love it for the big fella, having a heck of a year. Life has really worked out well for, for Miles. Tied at 133, he's made eight threes. 40 points for Turner. You got to be prepared to help him. Tatum got inside and draws the foul. Up his fourth foul. Neesmith the rebound. One of two for Tatum. 134-133. Boston, we're in overtime. Halfway through. Well, he had the pick he wanted. He just didn't... And now Nemhar, the rookie, 4-3, missed it, rebound, Neesmith, and it's on the Pacers. He pushed hard, guarding Tatum. Murphy sets the screen, Tatum downhill, throws it out to Brogdon. Brogdon on the drive, and Brogdon got two more. I'll tell you what, that's a strong drive, because he got, got pushed there a little bit. Nam Hort. Hey, got to look at it. Look at it. That's where the rookie's got to look at it. So you miss one. Here's Heald, 4-3. It's too strong. Rebound tapped out of there. Boston saves it. Neesmith got it. Put it in. And a foul. Extra effort. For the offensive rebound. Getting those extra possessions. 40 to play. You know, some people impact winning. Yeah. Neesmith scoring, and, and, and some things not scoring impacts winning. 13th tie. We've had 22 lead changes. Tied at 136, and Brown got back to it. Yeah, uh, he sure did. They get him in, we talked earlier about, they get him in the twos and threes, and if you don't read it um, accurately, you can get yourself in a real bind. Halliburton goes inside against Horford and draws the foul. Tickets are after tonight. Just eight home games remain in the regular season for the Pacers. One minute to play. Tied at 138. Tatum against Halliburton. All-star against All-Star. And Halliburton called for the foul. This way fast enough. Nine game of the year for the Pacers. The ninth for Boston. And the Celtics lead it by two. I love it. Here's the two-point game with the Celtics. Gotta love this thing. This has been an outstanding game. I mean, but these are the ones you want to play in. Absolutely. Know? Here's Halliburton against Brown. Neesmith, 4-3. And a rebound by Tatum with 35 seconds to play. Neesmith wanted that against his former he team. He sure did. Pacers have to get a stop here. They got Tatum with Denhaar. I suspect that's where they're going. And they don't. Brought in to Tatum. They got it right back to them. Uh, Denhaar defending. Tatum, step back three. Air ball. Shot clock at oh, one. No. Smart missed it. Tipped up and in by Tatum. Second chance points have been huge tonight for the Boston Celtics. And if you just lost con just lost it. And that's going to do that's it. it. And Tatum is going to dribble the clock out. And the Boston Celtics win in overtime. Pacers had a couple of chances at the end of regulation. But Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown each scored 31, uh, each scored 30 or more. 31 for Tatum, 30 for Brown.